For those of you who love modern luxury hotels, I have the perfect place for you right here in Nairobi, Kenya. It's called the Tribe Hotel. Everything about this place is luxe and modern at the same time. I'm going to take you through the layout of this hotel. I'm going to take you through the rooms and we're going to see some of the amazing artifacts scattered throughout the entire property. Think of this place like a high-end European hotel. And by that I mean that the rooms are a little small, but at the same time, luxe and modern. For those of you who are used to American hotels where they're typically sprawling, you're gonna have to adjust to a little bit smaller size here, but you get everything you need. It is July here in Nairobi, which means it's kind of cold. Americans, it's sweater weather here in Nairobi. So I'm gonna hold off jumping in this pool until my return trip later this year. Guys, this is right outside the Tribe Hotel. It's just, I mean, it's phenomenal. Phenomenal stuff. The quality, the detail in these carvings. And these eggs are made of rock. It's beautiful. Amazing. Guys, every corner you turn, there's spectacular artifacts. I can't get over the artwork in this place. Literally, let me look here. See that? There's two of them. It's amazing. Guys, I continue to marvel at all the artwork in this place. The designer, I gotta meet this designer. As expected in high-end hotels, you can expect to find a conference room. Guys, can we just take a moment and just appreciate how beautiful this place is? I mean, come on, look at this wall. <laughs> it's spectacular. All right, for you gym addicts, you got access to two gyms, one that's directly on the property, another one that's next door, and that one is much larger. All right, when you stay here, you wanna be a Marriott Bonvoy member. The Tribe Hotel is not a Marriott facility, but it is affiliated with Marriott. I'm a Marriott Bonvoy member, and so as a result, I get to take advantage of the free executive breakfast here which has a special location on the fourth floor. All right, heading to the breakfast buffet. Let's see what they have. Nice waterfall here. To the executive breakfast. Guys, <laughs> this is beautiful. Right, as soon as you come out of the elevator, they hit you with this. All right, this is the seating area for the executive breakfast. It's indoors, so you won't get very cold, but the AC is kind of strong. But there's different, it's not just tables with seats, there's couches, it's pretty exclusive some nice artifacts over here, a couple TVs, and a beautiful view of the grounds. So there's a sun deck there, which we will be checking out, these plants. All right, let's eat. Guys, this is butter. Okay, in case you didn't know, with the tribe logo. It's like a shot put ball. All right, let's have a look at my room. This is a deluxe. 
All right, so similar to a European hotel, it's small. All right, guys, just took a shower. Rain shower is a feature in this room. I can't figure out how to turn it on. So I'm using this high pressure thing. It's very high pressure and was hitting this wall here and then spraying the rest of the bathroom, even outside the bathroom. So that's where we are. This doesn't close. If you ask me, I consider this to be a little bit of a design flaw, just the way that it's structured. Um, Cause the water is really supposed to be contained in the bathroom and it's coming out at the moment. And I can't, it's not clear how to turn on the rain, the rain shower. There's only one knob under the lever and that's the one I kept turning and it wasn't working, so. Oh, he said this, you have to open. Pull and twist. Do not disturb. And then housekeeping. And that is reflected outside right here. So if you want to ring the doorbell, I can ring the doorbell. So I've only stayed here one night so far. I have another night ahead of me, but let me call out the few things that I loved about this place. Number one, the bed. Guys, it's the most comfortable bed I've probably ever slept in. No joke. These pillows are so fluffy. The bed is firm yet bouncy and soft. And the sheets are just crisp against your skin. It was an amazing night's sleep. Coupled with the blackout curtains, I was out for about 11 hours. I love the touch of having this modern bathtub right here in the bathroom area, uh, but I won't be using it, but I think it makes this area just a hair too small. Guys, I'm a big guy. I need space to move around. So the shower area and the toilet area, it's just a little too tight. I just wish this was a little bit bigger. All right, but I do like the rain shower feature. All the stuff that they give you in the mini fridge is complimentary. So there were some sodas in there and some iced tea, which is pretty nice because most places you go to, whatever you touch from the mini fridge, you pay for. All right, here's how I would summarize this hotel. If you're a person who enjoys the full range of facilities that a hotel has to offer, this is a great place. From the dining areas to the executive dining area, to the pool, to the sun deck, it has a lot of great facilities. However, if you're a person who's just looking to crash and spend most of the time in your room and not really get to use the facilities of the hotel, this isn't really the right place because the room area is just small. Modern and luxe, but small. However, I really appreciate all the artwork around the facility. I mean, I was walking around and I would just stop and watch it. It was so beautiful. And I try to have dinner at every hotel I'm at. I'm in the camp of people who enjoy all the facilities that a hotel has to offer. No matter which camp you fall into, I think everyone needs to enjoy this place at least once because I think as soon as you walk through reception, you're gonna be impressed. My room is a deluxe room and it's about $450 a night. Again, I'm staying here in July, so I don't really know if this is a high price or a low price depending on the season. So my only fault in this entire stay is that I was expecting a larger room. I saw that bathtub online and I went, of course it's gonna be a large room. So again, this is a high-end hotel, so you should expect that all the services are gonna cost you a pretty penny. So here's a tip. When I leave this hotel looking to get around Nairobi, I don't use their hotel cars. I use Uber because Uber will be about 80% cheaper. Guys, if you travel in style, let's say a helicopter, they have a helipad right here. So you can land right on the hotel property. I think I'll be doing that next time because the traffic today was kind of nutty. All right guys, I found another amazing thing here. An herb garden. Let's check it out. Lots of potted plants, enjoying this amazing Kenyan sun. Wow, look at this pot. These pots here. 